So we're close to the end of our work with XML. We have been able to serialize out our drawings, at least we believe we've gotten it to work. We have a format out there that looks good. Uh, now we need to be able to deserialize it. And we've started work on that. We started putting in the drawing an apply method that takes an XML node and it should give us back a drawing. And this is the pattern we're going to follow. So you might recall that everything that we wanted to be able to serialize, we wrote a 2XML method. This kind of follows with the Scala naming of you have two int, two double, two string, two array, two list, two XML. If you want to be able to convert something to XML for serialization, we put that method in there. And then also following kind of the, st the standards of Scala, a standard way of being able to construct new objects is to have an apply method in a companion object. And so we're doing that here. And this particular apply method takes an XML node and it gives us back a drawing. We have code that should theoretically pull out the variables that we put in there. Now we need to make it so that we can pull out our root. Now the root itself is a draw transform. So if I follow our pattern here, I should be able to make the draw transform and build it off of. Now, how does the draw transform serialize itself? It makes a drawable. All of our drawables make something that's it is a drawable, and they have this value in of this attribute that says what type they are. We know that the drawing itself can only include so node can only include one drawable. And that one drawable is always going to be the draw transform. Now we will have to work on how we deal with pulling apart different types of drawables in a bit, but at least at this point we know that root one should always be a draw transform. So we go to the draw transform. Now I'd actually like to refactor something before further working on the draw transform. That is right now the only thing we pass in here is the drawing. But I'd really like to make it so that when we construct one of these, these other values, the transform type, the value one and the value two, actually maybe even the children, I'd like all of those to be arguments. So I'm going to move the prop panel down and I'm going to make each one of these different things into an argument. Oops. Uh, paste, colon paste. This winds up being a little bit more verbose in this approach because you have to specify types for things. Value one and value two, that's easy. They are doubles. The transform type is a draw transform dot value is the type there for this. And of course that will wind up breaking something in our drawing where it winds up, well actually it should probably break it in our main. We'll wind up catching those errors later. We have our draw transform companion object. We want to make a def apply that takes a node that is of type XML node. Remember I'm using the full name XML node because there's also the properties panel which gives back a Scala FX node and I don't want those to be confused. So in order to do this, we would need to make a new draw transform. It will need to take the first argument of a drawing. Well, actually, so in addition to passing in this node, I'm going to have to pass in the drawing as well. And let's remember to put that over here. The drawing is D, so we'll have to pass that in. Okay. We have to pass in the children. I'm just going to make a variable there. We're going to have to pass in the, I'll just call it trans type. We're going to have to pass in value one and value two. So I need to parse out those four things from this XML node. I'm going to start with the easy ones. V1 is just going to be node slash the attribute value one. Fortunately, we have the code right up here above us. So if we forget what we're doing, 
we get the text, we convert it to a double. We do the same thing for V2. It pulls out the attribute value to. That works nicely. The transform type is actually going to be a little bit more challenging. So val, um, first let's get a string because that's the easy thing to pull off. We can take the node and look for the attribute trans type and then get the text here. But the problem is that what we need is not a string, we need actually one of these values here. So I need to somehow go from the string to the transform type. And the way that we can do that is it turns out that you can get a sequence of all of the different values that are in this enumeration. So I can take draw transform dot values and then we can let's see what is that do I have a typo yes I do indeed T R A N S F O R M okay so now if I put a dot here after the values I can find the value I don't want to do it that way I can find the value whose string value happens to be equal to our type string. Now, of course, find returns an option to me. I know it's going to find it in this case. So while that code right there could run the potential of throwing an exception, I know that we saved this. It has a valid transform type. And so now this is happy. It is a draw transform value for us. Now we need to get the children. So the children wind up doing each of these things mapped to XML. So what are the children? Well, they're all drawables. How are we going to do that? Well, let's see. I want to set the children equal to, I need to run through my node and find all of the drawable types in there. And then each one of those I need to map from the node to the appropriate drawable. Because I am basically creating a drawable, that feels to me like I need to have an apply method in the drawable type. So, well, slightly different syntax there. So inside of our drawable type, we don't currently have a companion object, but we're about to add one. We're going to make our companion object and do a def apply that as with the others takes a node which is an XML node and it returns a drawable so in this case this one's kind of abstract it could return any type of drawable and this is code that every time that we add a drawable we're going to have to change and it's one of the pitfalls of the XML approach is that because it's not happening automatically for us uh, we're going to and also let's remember we know we're going to need a drawing here. And so I should probably pass that into, okay, so, oh, and that's not in, that's node. And so I can do in rocket D uh, or drawable of D and in. And that's happy. And now we're just unhappy because this is a general sequence and it actually needs a buffer. Okay, so that made the draw transform happy. Our drawing here is because we have technically a node sequence instead of a node. I'm actually just going to say dot head. We know there's only one at the for the root. So now our drawing is happy and we can move on to our drawable. That actually will be the topic of the next video. Um, so we're going to need to fill this in and make it so that this can instantiate any of the different drawable types 
And then we'll have to add, to make that work, the apply methods to the other drawable types other than draw transform. So draw transform is done. We'll still have to do draw text, draw rectangle, draw maze as well. So we'll come back and we'll work on that in the next video.